Now, <laughs> children in Hull who survived the Blitz 70 years ago have been reunited to record their memories of the event. At the time, the extent of the damage to the city was so bad it was kept secret from the rest of the country. As Robert Hall reports, Hull will today remember its deadliest raid. The city where the first and last bombs of World War II fell. The city where almost every house was destroyed or damaged. Hull's fate was regarded as so bad for national morale that it was never referred to by name. It doesn't seem like 70 years ago, Ron, since this area was so heavily bombed. Mike Ulliott is back in the city centre he knew as a child to create his own record of Hull's Blitz from the snapshots that survive in the memories of those who grew up with him as the bombs fell. I think as you're getting older, you tend to think, well, what would my kids want to know about the war when we've probably taken it for granted? So I approached 20 people who I grew up with in the Skullcoats area and who I'm still in touch with. One of them, Ron Kemp, was just four years old when the first raiders arrived from the east. Well, I remember coming into town the day after the bombing and Jameson Street, where the BHS building is, was on fire, smouldering, and absolutely devastated. It, it was a horrible sight. When we talk about the destruction caused during the Blitz, we tend to think of places like London, Coventry and Liverpool. I think we tend to forget that Hull was the most bombed community outside the capital. And once again, geography helped the attackers. The Germans simply had to follow the line of the River Humber because it took them straight over the docks and on into the city. It was just night after night after night and you knew there were German planes coming in because you knew the noise, you know. I wouldn't like to go through it again. Olive Lancaster was in her local cinema when the sirens sounded. She escaped, but the building is now one of the UK's few untouched blitz sites. We just couldn't believe it that we'd been in there, you know, we could have been in there when it happened. It's had a big effect. Uh, I know we were only kids, but, you know, you, you knew what was going on. A lot of people don't realise how badly Hull got bombed. Here in Hull, and in the other cities I've visited over the past nine months, new buildings are rising above the old bomb sites. And yet, seven decades have failed to dim memories of the bombing campaign. Nor have they swept aside a collective belief that the loss of civilian lives must be remembered. Robert Hall, BBC News, Hull.